Hi, I'm Jeff, and this is how to find a ratio in Microsoft Excel. Now, a ratio is just a comparison of one number to another number, uh, sort of fraction is. So, you know, 2 to 4 is 2 to 4, 2 over 4, uh, though usually a ratio is always expressed as low as it can possibly be, so 2 to 4 is really 1 to 2. Uh, in this case, I've got a 5 and a 10, and I want to find the ratio of one to the other. Now, Excel is capable of doing ratios, but you're going to have to make sure you have some of the add-ins installed. In this case, go to Tools, Add-ins, and make sure you have the Analysis Tool Pack checked off. That way we can actually use the functions we're going to need to use to make a ratio. Hit OK to confirm, and then in here, I'm going to put in one of my Excel formulae. Uh, paste it right in there. You can see that what I've done here is I have some math surrounded by other functions. Now these functions are to make sure that it's a string, because a ratio has a colon in it, 1 to 2, 1 colon 2, and numbers don't usually, so we're going to make everything a string. Concatenate takes any strings and puts them together. Boom, boom, boom. Strings are text, characters, letters, instead of numbers. Uh, text turns numbers into text, strings. And uh, here you can see that I've concatenated a text of this math, text of this math with a colon in between. Uh, the math here is using the GCD function, which is available in the analysis tool pack, which looks for the greatest common divisor. Now, the greatest common divisor of 5 and 10 is 5. 5 will go into both of them. Since that's true, we divide each by that. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Once we hit enter to confirm our formula, you'll see that we get a 1 to 2 ratio right there. Now, if you change the numbers, say we change our 10 to a 25, you'll see that the ratio changes 1 to 5, which is correct. I'm Jeff, and that was how to get a ratio in Microsoft Excel.